all right all right all right welcome to 2022 and welcome to another episode of history yeah yeah thank you for staying with me throughout 2021 thank you for supporting me up to this point so today i have a very wonderful thing to react to normally i react to songs i react to music i react to videos but today i'm going to react to a i think it's a spoken word piece or a poem let's let's call it like that or let's 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 take it like that by one of my wonderful friends coffee crunchy has written a wonderful piece about music and then when i read the piece i'm like nah fam we gotta react to this piece so um the title of the piece is don't take away my music I have it right here. I'm going to read it. I'm going to take us through it. And in case you are wondering why I'm reacting to this piece, I, when I read the piece, I could relate to the piece so much in a lot of ways. And I feel the piece has a lot of words here uh, in it. And if I can relate to it, that means that my audience too, or some of my audience too can, can relate. So that's why I'm going into this piece to let you know what he's talking about. So if you want, I'm going to drop the link to the piece in the comment sessions please go and read it and go please share it hey sorry please share it and don't forget to share it to your other friends so let's go and this is how it goes i'm not an expert i don't know riff and runs. i know the notations by name but will freeze if you give me an instrument to play uh, it's incredible how my mind dashes to different places when i slip the headset on a place of motivation and inspiration a land of shared pain and imagination mm. I like the first two words because, I mean, not all of us are able to understand music or know the technicalities of music. But, and, and, and he goes on to say that we would even freeze if you give us an instrument to play. The example like that. If you Omoka say, if you should play Konkakura, they will freeze. They can't play. But it's incredible how much if they begin to listen to music, the power of their, their, power of their imagination is able to send them to places. And then a land of shared pain and imagination is, is very amazing. I have lived 10,000 lives through a musician's lyrics. Mm, lyrics, sorry. Charlie, amazing, amazing. Charlie, you, you can just imagine yourself in a lot of situations depending on the music you are listening to. And I think that's what it means by I've lived 10,000 lives through musician's lyrics. And a thousand more by the Abyss Spirit. Ah, uh, I have been all over the world and I, I have been all over the world and all across time. Yes, because we listen to a lot of genres. We listen to Afro beats. We listen to hip hop. We listen to high life. We listen to so all those genres send us to different places of the world at the same time. Under the sea and flown in utter space, cried my heart out in sorrow with a ghost writer writer's loss. Uh, some of you will cry. Some of us will not cry. <laughs> we just we do like ah and shout. Yeah. So <laughs> shared in the joy of winning Grammys in high pitch of my favorite singer's voice. Yeah. When I read this this particular line, Jonathan Macrino's name came into mind because he's the one who is doing all those high pitches and things, and he has won one of the people, one of the popular people who has, who has won the Grammys. Yeah, so we love some artists to the point to to the extent, or to the is it to the extent or to the extent, to the extent to the extent that when they win anything, we are so happy for them that Charlie, it's it's like. Sorry, my battery went low. It's like we now we've won the, the particular word. Don't take away my music. If you don't know where it takes me. Mm, mm. Don't take away my music. If you don't know where it takes me. If, if you know where I go, anytime I listen to this song, you will not take this music away. A, a space to vent freely with strangers who get me. A place to worship with the church, I will never in person visit. <laughs> A place to yeah, Bethel Elevation Hill song, Bethel Elevation Hill song, yeah. So Charlie, uh, uh, you you listen to some songs and you feel that you are in the church. Maybe the song will be a live ministration. You feel like you are in the church. You you can just imagine yourself in the church. I think that's what he's talking about. I was just, I was just at all their worship services this morning. <laughs> Charlie, I like how he's. This piece is centered around the power of our imagination. And when how music can trigger our imagination to a lot of places, uh, where I can get advice from people who've been who, who have been through it, where I can cry and not seem awkward, where I can lay my burdens and losses before my king, where I can practice my speeches for when I become a boss, where I can cry and see. I mean, in the place of worship, we can express our emotions without feeling awkward. In the place of worship, we can lay our burdens and and losses before our king that is what you're supposed to do in a place of worship and there's no awkwardness in a place of worship 
I can just ham until the feeling is gone, Charlie. Yes, I know, it's not wise to be out of touch with reality, and too much of good thing can be bad. There's no doubt in it, but I'm addicted to this drug, it's my medication. <laughs> uh, bar. No, there's no bar. If I sort... Oh, uh, well, maybe you can, you can see it's a bar. If I sort rehabilitation, I'll probably create a playlist for it. <laughs> that means that you would have been to a lot of rehabilitation centers. <laughs> that he has a whole playlist for them, Charlie, Charlie. Don't ask me to turn off the speaker. Don't ask me to turn on the speaker, no. Don't ask me. I could I could release the volume if it makes you feel better. Yes. Don't you dare try to take away my music. If you did, I'll go away with it. Charlie, if you don't, it's either you are liking me and my music together. If you don't like my music, then I'm going. If you did, I'll go away with it. Pass me the off code instead. Ah, mm, mm, pass, bar. Uh, it's a bar, please. I think it's a bar. <laughs> uh, how many of us know the off code? So if you go to church and they are playing music, the code they connect to the phone to the mixer is called the aux code, and that's why I used to play music through speakers. So pass me the aux code instead, and let me show you what goes on when the Bluetooth device connects. Mm. 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 Rebel, Rebel O1. Yeah. So Charlie, coffee crunchy Charlie, you do all. Uh, you this is amazing. When I read it, I was like, mm, I gotta react to this piece. So uh, I've I've said it again. I'm, I've said it. I'm saying it again. That I like how. It centers around the power of imagination and the fact that in the place of worship you can you can feel free in the place of worship and not feel awkward and also the fact that music can take you places that your music uh, uh, music can trigger your imagination to take you places that you never you've never been i know some of us have been to elevation church like 10 billion times without we don't even have visa we don't have a passport as of now but because of music because of their music mary city we can we've seen ourselves ourselves in their gathering in the circle but i mean the other day so it's a very good thing for me personally my personal experience anytime i listen to a song and the song is very great i just imagine myself standing close to or standing next to the person playing the instrument and i, I just imagine myself just shouting and making noise because when the thing is very good ah, i can't just stand it sometimes i just imagine myself that i'm the one playing i mean when, when it's an instrument i can play i just imagine myself that i'm the one playing it helps i think for me it also helps learning in some way that i'm able to when i imagine myself playing it i'm able to learn it somehow but for me personally sometimes the lyrics is another topic <laughs> watch this video if you want to what i'm saying sometimes the lyrics is some way so sometimes the instruments that i'm really paying attention to so the instrument if the instrument is very tight it triggers my imagination and i just imagine myself standing right next to them that is why in this video i said that if you shoot a music video and you don't show me the instrumentalist i just go crazy i want to see them playing i want to see them playing the thing so that i just ah coffee crunchy charlie thank you very much so the title of the piece is don't take away my music i'm going to as i said i'm going to post the link to the piece in the comment section please go and check it out share like leave a comment under the at under the i think it's a blog yeah leave your comments and leave, leave your comments under the blog share it to your friends charlie share 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 yeah so thank you for watching another episode of instagram welcome to 2020 charlie uh if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to be part of the family and i'm out